Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cowboy Cole and today we are doing a video review of the tactical pen that I've been carrying with me on a daily basis for the last six months. So I'll talk you briefly through some of the features of this pen and then give you my honest opinion at the end of the video. I'm not sponsored by Nightcore, who's the manufacturer of the pen. There's no paid endorsement and as I've said before in other videos, everything I review I've purchased myself and I only review products that I use, so at the very least, my reviews are honest. So this pen is a tactical pen made by Nightcore. Nightcore make four or five ta tactical pens. Some have a more tactical appearance than others. And this was a consideration when I purchased the pen. I do have larger tactical pens with a glass break tip always exposed. Um, you know, those are handy, but sometimes I just want a more discreet pen that fits into a typical business setting, and the NTP31 fills the bill perfectly. Comes in a box, and in the box they give you three refills. Talks about some of the key features there, but I'll go through some of these features on the pen now. So it's a uh, aluminium alloy designed bolt action tactical pen. It's got a three position bi-directional bolt action that allows you to pop out the pen tip or the window breaker by extending that. Push it back to the window breaker there. Okay. Or retract both for everyday carry, which is the neutral position. The NTP31 houses a replaceable Schneider Jink, uh, sorry, gel ink refill. And as I said, the box comes with those three refills. Yet also, the pen will work with any of the Parker-style refills and not the super expensive Fisher refills. So that's a green tick for that because I find those uh, Fisher refills to be very expensive. Um, on the other end of the NTP31 is the tapered tungsten steel point window breaker. Can you see that right there? whose hardness is only second to diamonds, apparently. But a fun fact, tungsten is the Swedish word for heavy stone, and it's the strongest metal in the world. It was identified as a new element back in 1781, so that's older than Australia. I've not had cause to use the window breaker in the six months that I've had it, but it is sort of nice to have that sort of option. Um, similarly, the selling point for the pen is that tungsten tip that can be used in a self-defense uh, scenario um, as a weapon for counter-strike. Again, I've not had that function, but the construction is very solid. Um, and the risk of breaking seems to be fairly limited unless you strike areas um, with, you know, of the body with hard bones. And I guess like with when using any kind of tactical pen in any real set situation against an assailant, you do want to be uh, avoiding areas of the body with hard bones and no vital organs. So ideal target areas would be, you know, sort of the neck, soft tissues with vital organs. So the throat, the neck, arteries, the thyroid, the esophagus. Um, it's designed to be used, in fact, it's common um, feature, which is a, as a pen, it's to be on, designed to be used outdoors and withstand harsh conditions. I have used this pen outdoors in summer and also in winter conditions, and it does work every time. The pen writes fine. The body of the pen has these anti-skid uh, threads in the center, which apparently increases friction and prevents sliding the more you use it. That hasn't been an issue for me. It does come with this sort of strong stainless steel clip that allows you to attach the pen to your pocket or shirt. And weighing at only 25 grams and measuring less than five and a half inches, uh, it does tick a lot of those sort of boxes for me. So the selling points for me, to wrap it up, it uses Parker-style refills. Its overall build quality feels very good. It's a non-tactical look, and that makes it discreet and looks just like a normal pen, which means you can get it through uh, airports and customs and whatnot. And at around 50 odd dollars, I think it's pretty good value for money for a tactical pen from a company with a profile as opposed to buying a pen with a questionable functionality for 5 or $6 from AliExpress or similar. So I carry this around with me every day and I feel better knowing that it is on me. So for this pen, I'll give it a ranking of, there you go, get that bolt, 8 out of 10.
be sure to head to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching today's video, Adventures with Cowboy Cole. We will see you in the next video.